à quelques jours du Grand National de Liverpool, chers amis, j'ai décidé de vous emmener avec moi à un autre événement tout à fait unique en son genre. C'est le Point to Point Dayton on Severn. Car oui, cela fait très exactement 100 ans que l'on court sur cet hippodrome éphémère situé à la frontière avec le Pays de Galles. Un centenaire bien arrosé avec de la pluie, de la bière, des chevaux et beaucoup beaucoup de monde que je vous invite à revivre maintenant. So Iton this year is celebrating the 100th year of the point to point and so moved over actually in uh, 1921. Um, obviously there's two Covid years so we're, 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 we're on 102 I suppose but um, so it moved across from another place probably about 10 miles from here and uh, this is an estate called the Raby Estate. Um, it's the landlord and then there's a couple of tenant farmers who who live in close by and, and they give up the, their land and every year for, for all those years this, this point to point's been run. Um, and yeah it's amateur it's amateur steeplechasing which you probably probably know and, and, and here we get the grassroots of racing so you get young young horses young jockeys some of those will go on to race um, professionally and under rules and then you sometimes get some older horses that may have had a career on the racetrack and come back to, uh, to to this level of racing and then you get all those in the middle really traditionally over the years you get a lot of farmers who maybe have been hunting through the season and they, they keep a couple of horses six courses de steeple étaient au programme de ce lundi de Pâques à Eton. Deux d'entre elles ont été remportées par deux chevaux entraînés par une grande fidèle de ce point to point, A.D. Brookshaw, dont l'écurie est située au cœur du Shropshire rural. Had the first race with Ballyraff and then we won the open race. So very good day. I love it here. We we tend to come away with at least one winner, which is always good. It's one of the best tracks in the country, and I've been coming here since I was born. So. It's my favorite race course. Cavalière de saut d'obstacle émérite à seulement 18 ans, médaillée de bronze lors des championnats d'Europe de 2019, Amy Jones a eu la joie de remporter sa toute première victoire en cette Easter Day. Elle dont la toute première course avait d'ailleurs eu lieu l'an dernier sur ce même hippodrome. I'm absolutely over the moon. I, I can't believe I just won to be honest. Um, my horse is unreal. Um, I couldn't ask for it. My trainer is uh, Heidi Brookshaw. She's amazing as well. She put so much work into these horses. I'm just really happy. I went over the line. I couldn't believe it. So no, I'm absolutely over the moon. Yeah. The lovely thing about Iton is that it's so close to home. Uh, obviously, this is really close to where I live. So all my friends and all my family are here to watch. And it's just got a really lovely homey feel to it. Obviously, the track is so nice to ride. It's so long. It's just. It's really nice. En plus des jockeys, d'autres personnalités de l'hippisme britannique n'hésitent pas à louer eux aussi les mérites des courses Dayton. Qu'il s'agisse d'entraîneurs comme Heidi Brookshaw et son père, Steve, vainqueur du Grand National de Liverpool en 1997 avec Lord Guinell, ou encore courtier avec le célébrissime David Minton. Je pense que c'est parce qu'un start de 2,5 mètres est littéralement ici, en face des stands. Donc, ils ont only seulement un circuit pour aller, ils ont seulement un fois de fois, le reste tout juste twice, the rest all just once. It's a big galloping cir cir circuit that um, encourages the young horse to get into its stride and teaches it to jump and they don't have to whiz around any bends and it, it's, it's a very good educational. As you saw in the race, the second race today, that was a very, very good yeah. race it was. for here and the winner will be very impressive and he'll end up at the sales and probably make a lot of money. It is a good place for young horses to learn, yes, because the entrance Nice and straightforward, there's no sharp corners, so it's quite easy for them to follow around. There's only two courses in the country that have 13 fetches on one, tra on one lap. All the others usually have about six or seven, so you go around several times. The light is only just once in a bit. Avec le partage et la convivialité comme ligne de conduite, le Point to Point Dayton génère depuis 100 ans de formidables moments qui resteront gravés pour l'éternité dans la mémoire de ceux qui les ont vécus. Well, I think um, probably a good example of an old horse coming back was a horse called Mr. Banjo, who the, the French would know. And I rode, I won an open race on him here. And I think he came from France. Um, that would have been 15 plus years ago. I rode some lovely young horses here that went on. Well, there's been a few winners. Uh, Winner-wise, it'd probably either be uh, Bay Sly or Bletchley Castle. They've both won here for me. And they've gone on and won on to rules and stuff since. And they're... You know, older horses that probably needed sweetening up a bit and they've come back and 
brilliant. They loved, They both won by a distance around here, so they absolutely loved it. They just jumped and galloped, and that's what you need to do around here. I then kept, took, up, took over from my father and came back in the 70s and commentated. We were commentating here in 73, the same day as the Grand National, so exactly 50 years ago today, or the weekend. And when, when Red Rum won his first Grand National, we stopped the point to point and we all disappeared up to the farm and watched it on television up there. So that's my memories of Eiton. And as I say, it, it is probably the best course in the country. Uh, it's, it's certainly one of the most famous. And as you know, it's a huge circuit. And uh, it, it, it's great and we have a lot of fun here. Grâce au travail acharné et en dépit des difficultés de notre époque, d'une équipe de bénévoles incarnant parfaitement les valeurs de l'amateurisme et de ce sport qu'est l'équitation de course, les courses d'Eaton ont encore de beaux jours à espérer devant elles, tout comme la discipline du point-to-point d'ailleurs. C'est un sport amateur et le fox hunting est basically stop now. And so, so we've got to exist in our own environment so I think it's going to get more professional. The two mile four maiden race that was here, lots of those horses will go and run on the track and, and that will probably become uh, the future for point to pointing. It'll, it'll become ever closer to national hunt racing um, and, and the sales side of it is, is going to be very interesting because hopefully you'll see a couple of those going, going and do well on the track. I hope it progresses. I hope point to point racing continues. We are struggling a little bit with lack of horses now because hunting isn't quite so popular and it, it is rather difficult but it, it just goes to show the crowds we've had over the weekend everywhere point to pointing has been amazing and it, it's encouraging that people still love coming. <laughs>